A massive moment for space exploration, and Canada is going to play a major role. Astronaut Jeremy Hansen, 47 years old, from London, Ontario, will be the only Canadian aboard the Artemis II journey to the moon sometime next year, and he'll be just one of the handful of people to travel the farthest distance away from Earth in human history. Joining us live from Houston, Texas, Jeremy Hansen. Congratulations, Jeremy. Woo! All right, thank you for the warm welcome. Extraordinary. Can you tell us when you found out that it was, you're the guy, you were going to be the one joining this team? Well, officially, I, I received a call from the president of the Canadian Space Agency just over two weeks ago, I guess it was, and um, and she she said, we're, we're going to officially announce this, make the decision, we'd like you to fly an Artemis II, and I was like, blown away, super excited, and uh, shared that with my family. They were excited for me, it was very meaningful, and... Uh, uh, so I had to keep that under my hat for a couple of weeks, and it was fun yesterday to, to see that announced and just to see Canada so um, so well represented um, by NASA and our American partners showing the major contributions that we've made. I was really proud of Canada yesterday. Jeremy, bless your heart for keeping that a secret for multiple weeks. That is quite the secret to keep. Um, <laughs> please put, contextualize this for us because, I mean, uh, obviously the last – moon missions consistently were a long, long time ago. We all have our visions of what that looks like. There's a lot of black and white. It is what it is. This is a whole, a whole new chapter. How far into space are you going to go? So, the, you know, the moon, it changes. It's hard to say exactly because we want, it depends when you launch. But the moon is roughly 400,000 kilometers away from the Earth, and we're going to go around the backside of the moon, probably, you know, a little over 10,000 kilometers past the moon. Uh, is going to be pretty extraordinary for me. I and mean, you can just imagine, I'll get to uh, blast off from the Kennedy Space Center aboard the Artemis, or the SLS rocket, the Artemis rocket. We'll go into Earth orbit. We'll spend about 18 hours in Earth orbit just checking out the systems, make sure they're ready to go into deep space. So that would be a pretty busy 18 hours. Uh, but during that time, we'll be in low Earth orbit, sort of where the space station is, the views you're seeing right now. But then we'll be in a really high Earth orbit, like way out there, greater than 40, 50,000 kilometers away from the Earth. I'm going to have a tremendous view of our planet. And then if everything looks good, then we're going to go for that translunar injection burn, and we're going to head to the moon, go around the moon. And at you know, a few points in that mission, I'm going to be looking back at our planet through the moon. That's incredible perspective. I'm pretty excited about that. Is it true that it, uh, when you saw Neil Armstrong take his steps on the moon, that's when you thought, I, I have to do that? Well, almost. I wasn't born when he, when he walked on the moon. Right. But I, <laughs> I grew up in love with airplanes. And I was in Encyclopedia A looking at airplanes. I used to go in that encyclopedia all the time, just look at the pictures in there. And one day I just flipped to the wrong page and I ended up on Armstrong and there he was standing on the moon. And I can, like, as I'm telling you this story, I can see the page in my head. Like, it made that big an impression on me. Um, my mom tells me I was five years old. I don't really remember. I just remember the image. And I've been talking about flying in space ever since. I turned my treehouse into a spaceship. I had dials. I had controls. I had circuit breakers from switches, whatever I could find on the farm. And uh, I've been always exploring space. And I've just kind of never let go of that dream. So this is definitely a dream come true for me. I, I have never in my life spoken to someone who's about to go Pink Floyd and actually go dark side <laughs> of the moon in reality. Uh, Jeremy, it's an extraordinary story. On behalf of the country, congratulations again. We're extremely proud of you. And all the best on this journey, not just the lead up to the journey, but the journey itself. God bless. Nice job, Jeremy. Very congratulations. Nice job. Yeah. Thank you so much. Fantastic. Jeremy Hansen. Jeremy, go, go, please go back to your schedule. You're the busiest person I'm talking to today. Go ahead. <laughs> Do your thing. From Houston, Texas, uh, Jeremy Hansen. Again, the, uh, the announcement happened yesterday. Artemis II, crew of four, going deeper into space than anyone else in human history. And Jeremy, a Canadian, 47 years old, out of London, Ontario, is on the mission. Extraordinary. Wow. Extraordinary. Yeah, absolutely wild. Yep. That's great.